but uh, we're going to keep you up to date on what we're doing and uh, kind of how things are going and maybe we can figure something out that'll help somebody else. All right, I kind of wanted to show why I was, what my trouble is with this. And right there we go. This is the dilemma for me. When I bought this truck, the head was tore off, the guy, you know, half tore it apart, so on, so on. So I don't know where majority of this stuff goes. My dad's got one of these trucks with this carburetor. He's always having problems out of it. And I mean, it's just, maybe it works for some people, but there's no need for me to try to even fight that. It looks like Medusa on a carburetor. I mean, in my world, air, fire, and fuel is what makes a motor run. I mean, the rest is just, just whatever. I don't know what to call it, junk, garbage. But uh, like I said, there's some stuff important I'm gonna have to pay attention to, but it's just kind of over, you know, overwhelming, intimidated, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so like I said, I'm gonna leave this whole setup like it is right there, and I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna apply with that intake and slowly blend over slowly blend what all you know has to be done all kind of little problems running into pump the brake it busted from right here from sitting so long leaking down hit the clutch one time and the little hydraulic cylinder there just completely froze up and spit out so if you're thinking about bringing one back to life that's been sitting six years or so I mean just get your wallet ready, that's all I can say. Um, I realize now I could have went and bought one of these trucks off Craigslist for, you know, $1,500 all day long. But because I want something virgin, brand new, you know, reliable, the way I want it, and I mean, I'm looking at probably 2000 by the time it's said and done. So, yeah, a little, it's a header you get from Pace Setter. I think I even ordered it from Summit. It was only like 168 bucks. I figured why not. Uh, got an oxygen sensor, which we don't plan on using. Um, nice little adapter piece. I think it's going to work perfectly. But they don't offer a cam, so you got to try to make a little extra power where you can get it. Also went and purchased the uh, Weber conversion kit. I think I got it off of eBay. The entire kit with the adapter plates, air filter, all the gizmos, everything. Like $259. Uh, off of eBay, the whole kit, ready to go for a B2000. Electric choke, I mean, I think this is going to help a lot with the thousands of vacuum lines. I mean, all I got to worry about, vacuum advance, a little PVC, and the rest can go. Emissions, I ain't worried about it. Um, did a little spray painting on the intake pieces, got bored. Wish I was putting that on there. Um, this is the rest of the motor, waiting on to get back from the shop. Engine rebuild. I think it's going to cost us 900 from Boutiques in Kannapolis. Um, just trying to get something more reliable. Uh, went ahead and mocked it up to it and uh, took a real fine pin, show you, and just went around marking where there was excess, making sure I could trim it back and uh, make sure my gasket was trimmed good. You know, I'm going to get in there with a Dremel once I set these three plates together, make sure it's all smooth. Why not since it's a part? You got to watch out for this tab right here. You're going to have to grind some of it off so you can get your uh, hose back on there. Um, all right, now I've got uh, these two plates stacked on top of each other. And that brown stuff's just some, uh, you know, gasket sealer stuff I'm putting in there, making sure with that many gaskets, it's, it's going to try to leak with all them holes. But uh, seal it up, and next you're going to see I'm going to take a Dremel in here and taper all this since there's so many different plates it's going through. I think if I taper it real nice through there, make a nice smooth I don't know maybe it'll turn out to be worth it but all right I'm gonna show you I've been doing a little bit of porting and uh, trying to get these these three different layers here to contour together pretty good working on this side um, starting to taper back over here I'd like to be able to just draw it a nice square oval at the bottom but uh, like I said we'll just do what we can Take it around, but I'm making sure all three places are pretty smooth. It's still pretty crazy on this side, but uh, show you where I'm at and what's working the best for me. Um, like anybody else, you're probably going to go out and buy the cheesy Harbor tool set. Um, what I found is only the white one cuts the aluminum good. The other one, both of these clawed up real good, and they don't have any. They just they don't work. But the white ones seem to uh, 
break off, I guess they're softer, and you're actually able to do a little bit with it. I wish I had a little carbine ball, but working with what I got. Okay, this is what I'm calling pretty much the finished product. Um, I could slick it up with a smaller stone, but I promise you I have been grinding for hours with those little cheap white stones, and uh, I'm just done. I'm fed up. But uh, anyway, kind of got a square oval at the bottom. A lot of material we got to take out in reality. Taper. Uh, good contour down through there. Not so much there because it drops off into a pocket. Okay, this is the motor, the 2.2 that's come back. Uh, looks good, but I'm not really pleased. I didn't. Ex I sent it to them as a complete, in other words, and this is what I got back. Um, now I don't know what bolts go where, what to do with what, but uh, lesson learned. Like I said, I think I can figure it out. It just, it just stinks. Um, like I said, so this is where we're at, and all right. Like I was saying, I noticed they didn't even put no uh, assembly grease there on the cam, so I went through and lubed it up and was rolling it over. All right, here's a little update picture. Of what's going on? Looks pretty nasty with the header going on. A little bit of painting work that I was doing, starting to get more rewarding and not as frustrating. So. Whoever's at that point, just keep going. You know, take your time, paint, figure out what you got to figure out. But the header does kind of excite me. Not that I'm out trying to win races, but when you're building it, why not add a little tweak here and a little tweak there? But uh, getting there and almost done.